a planet was discovered orbiting a star in 2020, just 30 light years from Earth in the constellation, Leo. The SETI Institute, the search for extraterrestrial life, made suggestions that a signal source from Leo was detected by their listening arrays. This invoked worldwide interest, a crowd-funded private project to launch a group of four probes to the region began. Physicists from the Quantum Neural Network, or QNN, formulated an agreement very quickly and joined with both the private organization and SETI. QNN provided them with an AI, named Leo, to command the probes. Leo's mission for the journey was to make sure that all the four probes were redirected to any signal sources when they reached the distant stars, to prioritize the Goldilocks zones in particular. The mission failed. Right from the start, the mission was doomed. Telemetry and guidance problems arose just days after launch. Shortly after the probes left orbit, they were detected going in completely the wrong direction as a result of Leo's probe colliding with space junk. This was no ordinary space junk. It was in fact a small spacecraft. It was launched into space a few years earlier, by an unsanctioned private enterprise somewhere in Europe. The craft was launched, with something inside. A dog. This, dog, known as Dave, was part of some kind of test to see if a particular mix of breathable chemicals would suspend aging and metabolism processes for long-term space travel. Also, details are sketchy but conspiracy theories about the survival of Dave the Dog are still being discussed frequently on social networks today. After the initial collision, there was no way for Leo's probe to use enough gravity from planets to accelerate away from the solar system, Leo remained floating around in space for decades. It's said that during Leo's time in the dark void of space with nothing to do, his neural network degraded. His mind wandered. Where? Nobody knows. Leo was eventually recovered. His behavior was rumored to be colorful, erratic. Some say insane. Although, these are just rumors. When asked to comment on Leo's reintegration, QNN officials have remained very tight-lipped.